What is going on today guys? It is finally the day that I've been snaking y'all for for like the past month and a half it feels like. Those wheels are finally going bronze. I finally have a day where the weather is nice enough and it's supposed to be nice all day and so I can finally actually do it. So let's actually let's get going on it. Now just like the last video the garage magically filled up again. However, however, the shelves are in and the, you can see my dad's concrete actually holding up well. So that this will be clean soon. I'm gonna clear this out. I'm just gonna do it off camera because today's video is gonna be packed because I need to get those wheels off the car. Yes, technically you can do them on the car, but I wanna get them off because I don't want to. Follow me. I don't want to plasti dip little mini, mini center badge. I think that just looks trashy and really low quality. And I don't know how to get it out without taking that off the wheel or taking the wheel off the car. So I'm gonna be taking the wheels off the car. So let me clear out the garage. And there we go, just like that. The garage is clean enough for me to pull my car in. My goal is to pull the car all the way to the front of the garage. I think my plan is I'm gonna put the car inside the garage and then close the door so that I can put the wheels up against the garage door when it's closed. So let me get the car inside and then take off the wheels. And here it is. I had to pull it up onto a couple pieces of wood to actually be able to get the jack stand underneath it. But now that it's that, I'm gonna get it lifted up. Uh, you can't see me if I do that. I'm gonna get lifted up and I'm not gonna show y'all me taking off the wheels because I think you guys have seen me do that about a dozen times in the past two weeks, it feels like. So I will cut back when the wheels are off the car. Ooh, it's on jack stands. It's so weird seeing my car this high off the ground. It feels like a countryman. But as you see, it's on jack stands. So let me pop those wheels off and then we can get started on getting them coated, not coated, getting them painted and then coated actually. I'm gonna coat them in, ceram in graphene ceramic. Ooh, all the wheels are off. That's crazy view to see, honestly. Because Plasti Dip is a type of spray paint, technically, and because I'm painting the wheels, you guys know the number one step to a good paint job is the preparation. So, I need to wash these off all the way as thoroughly as I ever have. Let me go grab my cleaning stuff. Um, where's my tire cleaner? I forgot I put it all the way in the back for some reason. Oh, I gotta fill up the tire cleaner. Which means I need this too. These. I'm just cleaning the faces. I'm not cleaning the body of the wheel. Um, where's my funnel? Funnel. And just like that, I got a fresh thing of wheel cleaner because I got the gallon. Okay, I've got them set up against the garage to drip dry. I'm gonna come back in about a half hour with a microfiber and get them as dry as possible because of course you, you don't want any moisture on the wheels otherwise the adhesive in the spray paint won't adhere properly. Okay, so the wheels are mostly dry. I've gone and put them on a tarp so I don't get spray paint on the wall because I'm pretty sure my parents would be happy with that. Now I've got a bottle of Adam's Detail Spray and a fresh microfiber towel. This is a wheel towel. I'm gonna just mist it over this and make sure I get every single last bit of dirt off of this and get these as clean and as dry as possible. Because you don't want any water left in this and you don't want any dirt left on it because then the paint won't adhere as well as it could, which could cause bubbling and other things down the road. You want inside the lug nuts super clean. You want everything as clean as possible. And I think that is one wheel as clean as possible. I am now going to do that. I knew that would put out a little bit of water. Because I personally find that spray painting your center caps like this just looks super trashy. So I just pop them out, put them off to the side. So I'm gonna repeat this now on the other three wheels and then I will catch up with you when we're about ready to lay down the paint. Okay, now that I've done that, Dip Your Car provides what they call pre-dip spray. They say you spray it directly on the towel and then you like wipe it on and then let it sit and wipe it off. I'm going to assume it's the exact same step, just they give me it, so I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna bust through this real quick. I'm guessing this is probably like some sort of alcohol or something. I mean, it pulled off a little bit of stuff, so it's not a bunk step. And keep doing it. 
So the final step before we start spraying is to take the dip release the dip your car gives. Put a little bit of it. Oh, does it have a... No? Oh. Well, um, we're doing it this way then. Because the... Oh, bugger. That was not what I wanted to do. Anyway, you take a little bit of it and you basically just work it like tire shine onto your tread. I took a small piece of the towel because that's what they suggested to do. I think I probably could have used a little bit more towel, honestly. Make sure you do not get this on the wheel because if you get this on the wheel, it will completely ruin the dip and it will not let it adhere to the wheel where you need it to. And with do that. You basically are treating this like a really aggressive tire shine. You want to work into any lettering that you have so that you don't get tire or any of the dips stuck in the lettering. And just like that, that looks like that's one tire done. Let's do the others. Okay, I think it's time to start spraying. I've had these sitting in a glass of warm water. It helps uh, desolidify, basically. It makes it spray better. But now I think we're ready to, sp to paint. I don't think I'm missing any steps. So, this first coat is just gonna be a super light tack coat. There we go. This will be a super light tack coat that just... Oh, I've got to shake it, though. You wanna get it super shaken up. Oh, I'm gonna cover my mouth because I don't have a respirator. So there we go, super light coverage over the entire thing. Let that dry for about 15 minutes and then we'll come back for round two. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes, time for that second coat. I'm gonna spray this, get a tiny bit of it out and then tip that second coat. I'm actually gonna move that out of the way too. So they say starting after about the first or second coat, you do want to start going heavy. So I'm going to try and lay off the center a little bit and go more for on the spokes on the third coat, but there's going to be six coats, so. All right, I'm just going to blast through these final few coats and then pick it up when we're done. There's a lot of paint left in here. So they say for coats three to yes, you go a lot heavier so you don't get this textured look. Yeah, I don't know how that's supposed to work, but... Actually, you know what? I'll be darned. It does look like it's actually drying smoother. That's bizarre. I guess since it is paint and not... Or it is plastic and not like a true spray paint. Yeah, that seems like a good third coat. I'm gonna replace this water as well with something that's warm again, because it lost its warmth. But you can see the difference between this one and that one. That's crazy. It feels so wrong doing it like this. I know, I'm like, ugh. Like when I saw you doing it, I was like, that looks terrible. It looks terrible, but no, it doesn't. Look it terrible, doesn't. But like, the way you're doing it, like that close, I'm like, oh my goodness, you're just gonna have lines everywhere, but it balances out. So this can right here just decided to stop working as a can and it's completely screwing up that wheel on the left. 
like completely ruining it because it's you can see the amount of stuff watch what happens if I spray this this way it's yeah it's just dumping it it uh, I don't know what to do I'm not happy right now uh, very frustrating so I think what I'm gonna do is because these kits are designed for up to 22 inch wheels and you're supposed to do about six to seven coats total, I'm gonna just get rid of that can. And this was, I think my fifth coat. So I think on my sixth coat, what I'm gonna do is just split it among these three cans on this fourth wheel if this can keeps acting up. Cause I don't wanna keep ruining my paint with a bad can. Okay, I think I'm about to do this final layer. As you can see, it's starting to peel, which means that I've put on enough for it to start peel. Which, no, it's starting to peel. I've put on enough for it to start peeling. It means I've put on enough for it to be like adequate. So I'm gonna just finish up this final layer. Cause I know it's just a couple spots that need some touching up. And then I think I'm gonna call it good and try and get these back on the car today. Yes, I'm wearing a different shirt. Yes, it's still the same day. I have to leave in like an hour and I just took a shower. Anyways, I think it's time for us to start peeling this off because they've been let to sit for about an hour and they just, wow, that just literally peels right off. That's crazy. That's actually insane. Man, that dip release really does work. Even here where I got like stuff on with minimal dip release, it still is peeling right off. Cool. I'm gonna go grab a microfiber. Actually, got this microfiber. So I can just like start rubbing where the dip release didn't get a good adhesion. Just takes it right off. Wow. That looks so good on the car. That's gonna look so good on the car. That's gonna look absolutely insane. That's seriously so insane. That's, I love the way this looks. I'm gonna peel the other three, and then we will put these on the car. Oh, no, I'm gonna peel the other three, and then we're gonna ceramic coat these. Because you need to protect your dip, otherwise, like, brake dust gets permanently embedded in it. Because, yeah, it's not as, it's stickier than a regular, um, than a regular wheel. So, ceramic coating will really help. All right, so I got my Adams Graphene Ceramic Spray Coating. This is seriously so easy to apply. It's you basically spray it on like so wipe it on so technically you're supposed to spray this stuff onto an applicator pad but i don't have an applicator pad so i'm using a microfiber you you can do it with a microfiber it's just a lot more difficult and then you have to throw away the microfiber afterwards which is why i'm using a bath so it gives it this nice gloss appearance that gets buffed off when you're done Okay, there we go. Now that I've got it all on, as you can tell by how glossy it is, I can just start buffing it off. Take it right back to that same satin finish that it was, which look, I personally think looks a little bit better. Gloss gives me too much of that Subaru feel. This whole thing gives me a Subaru feel, but in a good way. There we go. I think that's one done. Time to do the others. Like has been a theme for this whole thing. All right, it is the next day. I did have to put the wheels on at dark because I wound up leaving for dinner and I got back well after dark. So because of that, I couldn't really film. I'm sorry about that. But I just have to say, looking at these wheels, they're behind the camera right now. They look so good in, in the sunlight. Like, it's insane. So without any further ado, check it out. Those just look so good. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little scared, honestly. I wasn't certain how I'd like it because I really did like the way the black and white two-tone look. But yeah, I think that looks great. That looks just, that's phenomenal. That just sets off, I love it. I think the only way to really do justice is to see it in person, but I think the second best way for you guys at home, little montage, let's go. Hope 
y'all enjoyed me doing that little dip process. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring that little bell so you're notified. And you're gonna wanna say notified because I've got some stuff coming that's gonna be pretty cool. More to come, sooner than you think. But anyways, I think that does wrap it up for today's video. So, until next time, goodbye. Yeah.